What's up guys, welcome back to Boost Brothers Garage. In this episode, we are gonna start tearing down this five cylinder Volkswagen engine so we can finally put it in my Porsche 944. Stay tuned. If you guys are subscribed, uh, you have seen a few videos of the process of engineering and designing this kit. We've been keeping you up to date uh, as to how things are progressing, but now it's time to actually start the build, which is really exciting. So I'm hoping and have set a goal of having this car at 944 Fest at Nelson Ledges on August 3rd. I think it's August 2nd through the 4th. So if you're gonna be there, Hopefully, you'll see this car tearing around the track, making sweet, sweet five-cylinder noises. Also, before I just jump right in and start showing you what needs to happen to strip this engine down of all its OEM Jetta components, if you have not already, click the first link down below and uh, sign up for our 5,000 subscriber giveaway. Chance to win some stuff from Flat Six Motorsports, Soul Performance Products, and Ray Sang. I purchased this 08 Jetta engine off of eBay for $285 shipped and it has 96,000 miles. It is almost exactly how it was delivered. We did take the flex plate, uh, it would be a flywheel on a manual car, off so that we could get to a few bolts to pull the oil pan off. This oil pan is uh, a little different. It's got an upper pan that's cast aluminum and then it's got a bottom sump that's sheet metal. So. We're making some modifications to that and recreating it so that it fits the 944 chassis. Uh, so we had to have all that stuff off this engine. But beyond that, it's exactly how it came. And yeah, I'm gonna show you what you need to do to get it to the point where we can install all the swap components and then get it in the car. I'm gonna start on the exhaust side of the engine by removing the header, but I need to remove this uh, heat shield first. With the header removed, we can remove this heat shield for the knock sensors and the two bolts for whatever the hell this line is. Next up, we gotta remove whatever emissions control device this is. And that's all we can do on this side for disassembly, so let's move on to the front, which is basically just gonna be this engine mount. Onto the back of the engine, we need to remove all the evaporative emissions hoses, as well as this coolant assembly and the vacuum pump. On the intake side of the engine, we need to remove this whole front accessory bracket, the oil filter housing and block, this coolant block here, whatever the hell this thing is, and then the entire intake manifold, the dipstick. The intake manifold really sucks, so I'm gonna start with all this stuff first. You're gonna need a set of metric cheese head sockets for this. They're also called XCN sockets. Good news, bad news. Good news, I believe I have the intake manifold off, well, unbolted, which is pretty much the last thing left. Bad news, um, there's a giant hole in my intake manifold. <laughs> now granted, it's not being reused, and I'm hoping that it just happened in shipping, but I also hope there's not pieces of plastic in my cylinders. Well, it is off, but the bar that the engine is being held up with is keeping it from coming off. Down we go. These two bolts over there, this thing just slides in right there, pops off. And then, boom, intake is gone. Now that all of that work is done, we've got the engine where we need it to be. I went through and I sprayed down some of the more oily areas. I'm not gonna go in and do a full repaint of the block or anything crazy. This is going into a budget race car build, so it's just not going to be a fancy and flashy setup and and that's completely fine but we do need to start putting on the parts that come with the swap kit the first one being the oil block adapter this is the billet oil block adapter uh, if you guys watched part one of the 
07K introduction videos. I went into more depth of exactly what this is and what the functionality is, but this time we're just gonna install it. The one thing you'll notice when you're installing this factory gasket, it seems like this bridge right here doesn't wanna fit, and some people are saying you have to clip this. I found that not to be the case. If you kind of put the bridge in first, and then walk the rest of the gasket around, it fits in there fine. So do it however you want. I like leaving the bridge intact. I'm gonna run the top and bottom bolt in. These two bolts actually hold the engine mount in place as well, so I've just got those in for centering purposes right now. These are all six mil Allen heads. This is the driver's side engine mount, and it slides on right there. And then the other two bolts are down here at the bottom here and here the longer of the two, which goes in the front. 13 mil for the bottom. And that's it for the oil block and the engine mount. Next up, we're gonna throw the power steering pump relocation kit on, as well as the power steering pump itself. And then this side will be buttoned up for now. I started the power steering pump process by reinstalling this accessory drive bracket, which I guess hindsight 2020, I should have left on the engine, but I've never done this, I didn't know. So now you do and you won't repeat my mistakes. Next up, the relocation bracket goes right here with the uh, CNC cutout pockets towards the front, just because they're pretty. These are once again, six mil Allen bolts. Next up is the power steering pump itself. This is actually off of a 1.8T. Uh, I'm gonna put together a list that has all the part numbers of this stuff because I already ordered the wrong one, so I can hopefully keep you guys from making the same mistake. This is also part of the relocation kit. I went ahead and installed it on here now because it's easier than once it's all bolted up. So that's what that looks like. And now we just gotta throw on the pulley. Boom. Now we've moved back over to the exhaust side of the engine. The new mounts use this bolt, this bolt, this bolt and this bolt and those are all unused on the factory setup so at least this engine which i'm assuming came from the midwest uh the first few threads in that hole were pretty corroded so i had to run a tap in there just to clean everything up to make sure they all go in freely now they do the three bolts here this one this one and this one are all uh one size and then this guy's a little bigger this is a 15 mil socket for this and these are all 13 mil. Doesn't get much easier than that. Well, we might as well go ahead and install the uh, Lamborghini header. So here is the Lamborghini header. This is off a of Gallardo, all wrapped, ready to rock with the V-band installed. If you haven't seen this video, I'll post a link down below and potentially at the end of this video, it's bolted on. I bought a replacement gasket for this header. It's a pretty thick gasket and it's more of your, your standard header gasket. The factory gasket that came on it is a multi-layer gasket, which I actually prefer. I'm gonna give this a shot. Uh, if I have a leak, it's, it's no big deal. This header is not that bad to pull back off, but I think I might have better luck reusing this than that new gasket. If this swap is a huge bust, and I blow the engine on the first outing, at least I can hang the header on the wall and stare at it. I think that's everything I can bolt on right now. So I got the header, passenger side mount, the accessory drive, power steering, oil block, driver's side engine mount. I've got the valve cover ready to come off, all the bolts are loose. And I would be able to install the valve cover tonight, but I didn't really like the polished aluminum look, so I'm going with a wrinkle black, which I've been painting over here. Unfortunately, it takes 24 hours to cure, so I can't bolt it on just yet. The next time you see the engine and car, I will have the oil pan done, which is a huge deal. Uh, that means that I can bolt on the bell housing and actually get the engine stabbed in and just permanently installed in the car and then we can really move forward. That bell housing is right here. This is the first 
production, if you will, bell housing. This one is just spray bombed black. Uh, the finished product will be powder coated, but this is the one that's going in my car. Uh, you know, I get, uh, I get the half-ass stuff. But fit, form, and function, it is a production piece. That's it for this video, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Definitely stay tuned uh, as we progress through this build. Like I said, the goal is to have this done by the beginning of August for 944 Fest. So we have not a whole lot of time. I'm going to be jamming. We're going to get this thing running. We're going to hear sweet, sweet five-cylinder music. It's going to be awesome. See you next time.